Closing the books always brings intensity and over time. We want an accurate report, so we run deep reviews, hunt for errors manually, and stack countless controls. But the stress remains and auditors still find surprises. We'll deploy AI to expose and eliminate the error routes, so you face any audit with receipts and confidence. In this video, you'll see exactly how to prevent and eliminate any risk and mistake by showing seven practical cases where AI identifies mistakes before your auditors do. Real prompts and results you can copy to remove potential risk or error on the spot. Before we dive in, we need to notice three things. Confidentiality. When uploading a data to an AI tool, it requires clear boundaries. OpenAI does not share your data with third parties. If you are on the free or plus plan, your data may be used for training unless you turn that option off. For enterprise or team plans, data is not used for training. The safest approach? Anonymize the data you upload or use the enterprise plan. Data inputs. To proceed, we need to upload data, trial balance, budget, sales data, general ledger, operational data such as headcount, agreements, and so on. The more data you upload, the better the results will be. Prompting. Always define the role at the beginning. For example, act like a financial auditor and perform audit procedures to find risks, errors, and material misstatements. Also, provide information on materiality and what types of findings you expect. Now, we are ready for analysis, the kind that a big four firm would charge you tens of thousands of dollars for. Data integrity and mapping checks. Nothing derails close like discovering too late that opening balances don't tie or that one account feeds two financial statements lines. One bad mapping and your entire pack of cards wobbles. So first, we stabilize the foundation. Verify that extracted data is consistent, mappings are clean, and system configurations won't sabotage consolidation. Now let's turn that into a concrete test. Prompt like this. Audit the attached data. Identify errors from incorrect mappings or initial accounting settings. Provide indicators of potential issues and assess risk likelihood, frequency, and potential materiality. Compare opening balances to prior year closing. Check currency consistency and rounding across subledgers. Validate chat of account mapping to the financial reports lines and flag accounts mapped to multiple lines or left unmapped. Detect non-standard account descriptions that could break consolidation. Identify inverted account behavior, negative revenue, positive liabilities. Here's what the AI returns. Deferred revenue mapped to both liabilities and revenue. Duplication risk high. Opening inventory doesn't reconcile to prior year closing by 24K, missed adjustment or extraction timing. Three journals use identical debit and credit, all manual on December 30th, high risk reclass to be approached. Account payable subledger currency mix caused rounding diffs totaling 1000, low risk, recurring weakness. Suspicious postings. The goal of this action is to automatically identify unusual or non-standard journal postings that deviate from expected accounting behavior without manual data mining. The objective is to flag potential anomalies, manual overrides, and transaction patterns that could indicate risk or manipulation. Here is a prompt. Scan the journal data for duplicate entries, direct manual postings, and missing document reference IDs where required. Unusual posting calendars, heavy weekend activity, month-end spikes, unposted journals and suspense balances, rounded figures in unusual amounts, one-offs and abnormal seasonality peaks, descriptions with vague or high-risk phrasing, manual postings close to period end. Summarize risky postings by keyword and assign risk. ChatGPT says 42 postings ending in 000 during the last two days. 23 manual postings include descriptions, adjustment or miscellaneous with no references. 10 manual postings on control accounts. Weekend postings jump to 11% versus normal 
25% of lines lacks customer or vendor identifier. Now that we have these indications, all that remains is to take a targeted look at where the errors or risks are hiding. Analytical review tests, ratio and relations. The goal of this action is to uncover logical inconsistencies that appear numerically balanced but logically implausible by testing relationships between key performance indicators and operational drivers. To determine key relationships, it is necessary to include operational data in addition to financial data. Headcount by month, square meters, fleet, license users, sales data, key agreements, use time horizon of 36 months. Here is a prompt. Compute monthly ratios and unit economics, gross margin, net margin, OPEX to revenue, DSO, DIO, DPO, account receivable to current assets, salary per employee, rent per share meter, fuel cost per vehicle, IT cost per license, and other what is applicable. Flag all significant changes that can influence material misstatements. Test continuity and logical links among figures and drivers. Produce Top 10 anomalies with brief course hypothesis and likely error zone, misclass, cutoff, double posting, reclassification. Look at the results. First, gross margin down 8 percentage points year over year, while sales volume is up 20%. That doesn't add up. Most likely, some inventory adjustments weren't booked or freight costs ended up in OPEX instead of cost of goods sold. Next. OPEX as a share of revenue jumps from 18% to 27% month over month, but headcount is flat. That smells like double recognition of vendor services. I'd check the 62 group of expense accounts and the posting dates for duplicates. Third, DPO falls from 62 to 36 days in one month with supplier terms unchanged. That suggests prepayments or a manual payment run outside the normal cycle. Fourth, rent per square meter is up 15% while our square meters are unchanged. That points to indexation posted without a contract note or a period cutover error. Finally, social contributions per employee are down 12%, but salaries are stable. That's likely a payroll configuration change. When numbers look correct, but the business logic disagrees, trust the logic. This ratios and relations test cuts through the noise and shows you where the error hides. Reconciliation and completeness checks. Goal of this step is to verify accuracy of financial statements by reconciling balances across ledgers, reports and connected data sets. The purpose is to detect omissions, duplications or inconsistencies before consolidation and reporting. Here is a prompt. Reconcile. Trial balance with financial reports. General ledger versus trial balance totals and detect missing or duplicated accounts. Subledgers versus general ledger. Detect differences between general ledger account and related bank statement balances. Cross check intercompany balances. Net profit with operating cash flow. Highlight exceptions with amounts and causes. ChatGPT says trial balance totals matched general ledger values but subledger to general ledger reconciliation revealed 15,800 variants in accounts receivable due to an unposted credit note. Bank statement confirmed 102,000 not yet recorded in general ledger due to delayed import of statement data. Intercompany reconciliation between entity A, receivable 87,000, and entity B, payable 79,000, exposed a timing difference of 8,000 pending confirmation. Net profit and cash flow reconciliation identified depreciation included twice in the operating section. Overall reconciliation completeness 97.6%. Accounting rules validation and correlation testing. The goal here is to ensure all accounting entries comply with recognized accounting principles and internal policies. The purpose is to detect regulatory violations and inconsistent recordings on correlated accounts. Here is a prompt. Validate compliance with accounting policies. Identify incorrectly capitalized expenses or missing accruals. Flag unbalanced journal entries and incorrect signed conventions, e.g. negative assets, positive liabilities. Verify whether transactions are recorded in line with generally accepted accounting principles wherever possible. 
Match debit amounts in accounts payable with credit entries in related revenue accounts. Match debit amounts in payroll expense accounts with credit entries in salary liability accounts. Match debit amounts in cost of goods sold with credit entries in inventory accounts. Identify significant deviations that may indicate the presence of material misstatements. These are the results. ChatGPT flagged the following findings. 45,000 of IT equipment purchases were recorded as maintenance expense instead of being capitalized, potential breach of the fixed asset capitalization policy. Depreciation did not increase after asset additions totaling 250,000, suggesting missing depreciation setup. In December, inventory was credited for 102,000, while total debits on cost of goods sold amounted to only 25,000. Please check the difference. Payroll expenses are significantly higher than the amount recorded on liability accounts, indicating that some salaries may have been paid directly from the bank account without first recognizing the liability. No provisions for guarantees were recorded. Errors detection based on analytical variance analysis. A goal of this procedure is to identify abnormal deviations between actual, prior period, and budgeted figures. The objective is to isolate unexplained anomalies and quantify their potential impact. Here is prompt. Build expectation models using historical trends, seasonality, and drivers, for example revenue per unit, cost per employee. Compare actuals versus expected. Flag variances beyond materiality thresholds in percent and absolute terms. Compare actuals versus prior period and do the same. Generate an exception report. Quantify impact and request explanations. Check internal consistency among related accounts and drivers. Make test of details where you find a risks. Here is the result. The expectation model forecasted Q2 marketing expenses of 120,000, but actual spending reached EUR 175,000, which is 46% above expected range. Variance explained partially by campaign launch and the rest unexplained, requiring follow-up. Revenue per employee dropped 12% despite constant headcount, contradicting seasonality trends. ChatGPT quantified materiality threshold at EOR 25,000. Three cost centers exceeded this benchmark. Cutoff and period end testing. A goal here is to verify proper timing of revenue and expense recognition to ensure that transactions are recorded in the correct reporting period. Here is the prompt. Perform cut-off testing. Compare journal posting dates versus document dates. Find late postings. Review transactions plus and minus 10 days around month end for premature revenue or deferred costs. Reconcile sub-ledger recognition periods to general ledger accruals and confirm reversal behavior. This is audit result. AI detected that 17 invoices dated January 2nd were recognized in December revenue, overstating monthly results by 62,000. Utility expenses from December were booked in January as prepaid, creating timing distortion General ledger posting dates lagged behind document dates by up to 10 days for multiple suppliers, flagged as high cutoff risk. If this helped, watch my next video on how to analyze financial statements 10 times better with AI. We'll build expectation models, catch recognition issues in minutes, and turn findings into executive-ready narratives. And if you want practical AI for finance every week, subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update.